The mighty Griner Highway provides the space and the opportunity for artisans and other entrepreneurs to offer goods for sale. Sandra Trotman is among those plying their trade. I'm looking for a bountiful crowd this evening. I made uh, all my jewelry. I made from some made from wire, beads, different materials. Food is among the popular items, including the traditional Saturday pudding and sauce. Mm -hmm. Young caterer Naya Neblet has been doing brisk business. Well, so far the morning has been really great. I'm surprised I got to have a lot of sales. This morning we focus on putting ourselves only and we've been doing well, sort of. As soon as we started, we had to rush back and get some more come back down. Like this experience, this is, this is a new beginning for me, so I'll be here again next year with Lars Spear Life. Natural products are also in demand, according to Kelly Welch. I do also a Supreme Smile, which is a tooth powder, getting away from the fluorides and the extra chemicals that you may have in the tooth scrub, in the toothpaste. There's also natural deodorants, getting away from the GMOs, the aluminums and stuff like that. Visitors like Will Clark and his children have been enjoying the marketplace. Oh, it's going brilliant. I had some pudding and sauce just up there. Just bought some local Bayesian uh, creams, which you can't buy in the UK. So really nice to come out here, support the local independence and just in soaking up the atmosphere. Beverly Walker, who loves her homeland, comes three times a year. It's fantastic. Hot, but nice. So many stores. I didn't expect this. People doing this before the jump up on Monday, I, c I can't believe it, but it's fantastic. Some bought snow cones to cool down from the heat, while others chose other methods. The hustle and bustle at the Bridgetown Market continues tomorrow and Monday.